Pulse RC3 is a compact stereo looper with 99 memory slots, rhythm tracks, auxiliary input and USB storage for audio files. Besides the stereo input and output jacks, there's a stop and memory shift input jack. You could connect a dual moment area foot switch like the Boss FS6 or FX7 and the first button could stop the loop, clear the recording or tap in the tempo. With the other foot switch you can shift the memory up or down. Both these foot switches react differently if you tap or hold the button down. Now here's the thing, I don't like tap tempo. It's too unstable for my wobbly feet. I think it's okay for delays since the trails die out after a short time. So it doesn't matter if your tapping is a little bit off. But if you want to sync a loop to another song on the other hand, tap tempo won't do. When your tapping is off by a little, the loop and the song would be out of sync in no time. So I designed a foot controller that converts MIDI signals to tap tempo and while I'm at it, could also stop the loop and shift the memory up or down. Now how is this gonna work? I'm not altering the RC3 itself. The foot switch is controlling the RC3 solely via the stop memory shift TRS jack. The RC3 is designed to work with momentary foot switches. It detects an external pedal if the circuits are closed, tip to sleeve and ring to sleeve that is. The circuit opens via the foot switch and the RC3 reacts. If the tip to sleeve connection opens, stop, clear memory or tap tempo can be transmitted. If the ring to sleeve opens, the memory shifts up or down. These are the ingredients for the foot controller. I've used an Arduino for all ins and outs. The Arduino supports MIDI and I've learned to program this in college. On the face of the pedal there are 4 foot switches and 4 LEDs, one for every foot switch. On the top there are three TRS jacks. One of these jacks is controlled by relays, so you can switch other things as well. Up to 277 volts AC or 220 volts DC. In theory, you could control wall socket power with these. One TRS jack is for expression input and the other one is for the expression output, controlled via a digi pod. On the side of the pedal there are two 5 pin DIN plugs for MIDI in and out and a DC input of course. Now I've had these components for months, but I've procrastinated for so long that Boss came out with the RC5 loop station, which has full MIDI compatibility and it makes this RC3 foot switch obsolete. But I've got the components anyway, and the foot switch will be universal. You can control other things as well, so I built this pedal anyway. Well, lo and behold, the finished project is all here. Uh, this is it in its final form. It's completed and the code all works. So let me switch it on. Well, there's a startup sequence. So when we switch to uh, Pocket MIDI over here, I'm gonna show you uh, when I send the MIDI tempo. You can see the LED uh, on the first button uh, flashes and when I press the button you see that it works. So this button still functions as the stop foot switch. When you press it once it will stop. And when you press it long enough, it will clear the loop. But yeah, there's no loop right now, but show it anyway. So that clears. And you can still tap in the tempo with this foot switch if you want to do it manually. So that'll ignore the MIDI tempo. 
Uh, the other foot switches work as well. So this is one up and this is one down. The memory shift. Uh, you can press it multiple times. And the same goes for the memory down. So that was five times. And you can see the the LED will uh, will turn on as long as the program runs. So one, two, three, four should go back to ten right now. There we go. And you can still uh, hold this, and it'll go down. And I programmed the other foot switch, the memory up foot switch, in the same order. So when you hold this one, it'll shift up in the same rate as the memory down foot switch. Uh, what I've also programmed is that when you press the memory down foot switch uh, too much, you can cancel that with the other memory foot switch. So let me try. So this foot switch cancels the memory from shifting down. So yeah, that all works. Uh, let's switch over to Pocket MIDI. You can see that uh, when I uh, send the tempo, it also receives the same amount back because uh, it's set up in such a way that um, everything that's going in into the pedal via MIDI also uh, sends it back. So like it's like a MIDI through uh, function on the other MIDI equipment. We also see it in the mini MIDI monitors. Let me clear them. When I send it, this is what it sends, and this is what it receives. So everything you send into the panel also returns. Not only this, but yeah, you can also send PC or CC messages. And they will be received back. So you can put this pedal in a MIDI chain if you want to. So this is the foot controller with the program to control the Boss RC3 and sync it to MIDI tempo, stop or clear the loop and shift the memory. But there are other things this one could do as well, with its foot switches, MIDI and expression in and out. I will post more videos of other usages of this pedal in the future.